Hi, and thanks for watching iHeart Touch. Today we are going to be using Photoshop CS4, and we are going to be turning ourselves into an anime character. What I basically did was I went to uh, Flickr.com and I found images with the attribution and the share alike license. And what that basically means is you're allowed to manipulate, share, or distribute the images that the, or the photographs that the uh, artists take. So um, I found two images that were that caught my eye. And um, we're going to go ahead and open up the first one by pressing Apple O on the Mac or Control O on the PC. And the image that I'm going to be using is titled Yin Yang. So let's go ahead and duplicate this image twice by pressing Apple J twice or on the Mac or Control J on the PC. And let's go ahead and delete the background layer. Select the background layer and delete. And let's go ahead and rename layer 1 by double clicking on layer 1 and name it Original. And let's go ahead and double click on layer one copy and rename it to manipulation. And then we are going to go ahead and go uh, select a manipulation layer and go to filter and liquify. And we're going to select our bloat tool by pressing B. And I have my brush size set to 50, my brush density at 35, and my brush presser pressure set to 100. And we're just going to bloat the eyes a little bit. Um, Start on the right side and work your way. Um, you're just going to make it pretty much uh, imitate the, uh, the shape of an anime eyes. And once you are satisfied with what you got, you're going to go ahead and grab your forward warp tool by pressing W. And we're going to change the brush size to about 75. And we're just going to give the chin a little more pointy, uh, a more defined feature, and just kind of make it just kind of look at an actual anime character and kind of. Uh, use that as a reference and just shape it to make it look the same, I guess. And we're going to drop our brush size down to 45. And we're going to we'll go ahead and work on the nose. And we're going to basically, we're just going to drag the uh, rim of the nose and just make it so that it looks smaller. And I think that looks pretty good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our pucker tool by pressing S. And we're going to keep the brush size, the density, and the pressure the same. And we're just going to kind of tighten the lips and just make it look a little smaller kind of like how the uh, anime lips kind of look and we are going to grab our forward warp tool again by pressing W and we're going to change the brush size to uh, 50 and we're just going to um, kind of fine tune the, the shape of the chin and the cheeks because once you use the pucker tool it's going to deform the, the shape of the chin so you want to just straighten out the chin and make sure that everything looks how you want it to look and once you're satisfied with that we're going to go ahead and press OK or press enter and then we're going to go ahead and go into quick mask mode by pressing Q and then we're going to go ahead and grab our brush tool by pressing B or you can select it on the uh, toolbar and then we're going to make sure that our foreground color is black and we're going to make sure that the manipulation layer is selected and we're going to fill in the left side of the, the eyes and it's going to turn red and if you need help with the quick mask mode you can always check my previous tutorial that goes in depth with the quick mask mode and once you fill in both of the eyes go ahead and press your marquee tool by pressing M right click anywhere on the, the image and go to select inverse and then we're going to make sure that the manipulation layer is selected and we're going to go ahead and delete it Let's go ahead and select our um, original image and we're going to go ahead and hide it by clicking on the eyeball icon and what's going to happen is it's going to uh, disappear. So let's go ahead and deselect the selection by right clicking anywhere on the image and then going to deselect or press Apple D on the Mac or Control D on the PC. And then we're going to go ahead and open the, uh, the eyes that I have provided which is available to download under the description. Go ahead and press Apple O on the Mac or Control O on the PC. Mine is titled Anime Eyes.jpg. And we're going to go ahead and press Apple A to select all, Apple C to copy. And then we're going to go to our original image and then paste it by pressing Apple V. And as you can see, it's underneath our manipulation layer, so that's good. Um, we're going to go ahead and scale this down by pressing Apple T on the Mac or Control T on the PC. And let's go ahead and fit it so that it looks uh, just about right or it fits um, inside the, um, 
the manipulation layer's eyes. And as you can see, we, we missed a spot when we deleted the, the manipulation layer of the eyes. So we're going to go ahead and select our manipulation layer, grab our eraser tool by pressing E, and erase some of the bottom of the, or above the eyelid, the bottom of the eyelids. And let's go ahead and select our eye layer and duplicate it by pressing Apple J. And let's go ahead and move the duplicated layer to the right side of the eye. And we're going to flip it horizontally by going to edit, transform, and flip horizontally. And we're going to transform or rotate or scale this however we need to to make it fit on the right side of the eye. And once you're satisfied with the position of the eye, uh, we're going to select our manipulation layer. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the left eye. And we're going to grab our eraser tool and erase a little bit of the selection that we missed on inside the eyes. And just move the eyes so that it doesn't make the character look like she's cross-eyed. And we're going to um, make the face a little smaller by lookifying the image. So go ahead and select the manipulation layer. Go to a filter and lookify. And go ahead and grab your forward uh, warp tool by pressing W and then change your brush size to about 150. And we're going to raise the chin higher to give the face a little um, smaller look. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag um, the chin and we're going to raise the nose as well. And we're going to uh, change the brush size to 50 pixels. And we're going to touch up and fine tune all the, uh, the edges that aren't straight or all the uh, sides that need to be fixed. And once you're satisfied with what you got, go ahead and press enter or go ahead and press OK. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to change the color of, color of the hair. And I'm going to go a little exotic, so I'm going to change it to purple. So let's go ahead and go into quick mask mode by pressing Q and then select our brush tool by pressing B and uh, make sure that our foreground color is um, black. And um, I'm going to change the brush diameter, diameter to about, say about 20 pixels. And we're going to outline the uh, along the ridges of the hair. And once you're finished with that, we're going to raise the diameter of our brush to about 50 and fill the rest of the, uh, the hair in. And if, again, if you uh, need help with the quick mask mode, be sure to check out my previous tutorial on the uh, quick mask mode. And um, it'll go a little more in depth. All right, let's go ahead and go into standard mode by pressing Q. Grab a marquee tool by pressing M, right click anywhere on the image and select inverse. And then we are going to go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. And let's go ahead and uh, drop our hue to negative 105 and our, let's uh, raise our saturation to about 40. And uh, I'm gonna go crazy and make it purple. So deselect the image by pressing, or selection by pressing Apple D or right click anywhere on the image and go to deselect. And as you can see, I went overboard with the selection when I was uh, coloring in the hair. So um, luckily we have our original image. So let's go ahead and reveal that by pressing, um, pressing the eye icon to reveal the uh, original image. And go ahead and select our manipulation layer and grab your eraser tool by pressing E. And we're gonna erase the uh, the selection or the parts that we went overboard around the hair. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching I Heart Tuts. Please be sure to share um, the creations that you've made. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks.